It is a great satisfaction to greet you again, I hope you and your pet are well. Today we will talk about the following. 3 Dermatitis in Dogs, Causes, Symptoms and What to Do. The term canine dermatitis simply means inflammation, redness and often itching, of the skin. This is a general term that can be used to describe skin irritation caused by any disease. There are many causes of skin inflammation in dogs. Some of the most common diseases that cause dermatitis are atopy, flea allergy dermatitis, and food intolerance or allergy. There are many causes of dermatitis in dogs, but the most common are the following. 1. Atopic dermatitis, also called canine atopy or allergic dermatitis. This is a complicated pathological process in which affected dogs may be genetically predisposed to developing atopy. It is estimated that approximately 10% of dogs suffer from atopic dermatitis. Dogs with atopic dermatitis have a defect in their skin's natural protective barrier. Most of the allergens that cause itching in these dogs enter through contact with their skin and its defective barrier. Animals with atopic dermatitis have a history of itching, i.e., licking, chewing, scratching, that may or may not be accompanied by recurrent skin infections. Signs can be seasonal or non-seasonal. Dogs with atopic dermatitis have areas of red skin, raised bumps, scratches, scabs, and may have thickened skin due to a long history of dermatitis. Itchy areas in these dogs include the armpits, lower abdomen, paws in between the toes, and the area around the eyes, ears, folds of the mouth and lips, and the butt of the dog. Most of these dogs begin to show signs between 2 and 6 years of age. As this disease tends to be hereditary, several breeds are predisposed. Commonly affected breeds include Labrador Retriever Golden Boxer Cocker Bulldogs Terriers, most, including pit bulls. German Shepherds. However, many dogs, including mixed breeds, can have atopic dermatitis. Management of atopic dermatitis. Improved hygiene and skin and coat care, e.g. bathing. Reduction of itching and skin sores with medications, e.g., topical and or systemic. Targeted allergy therapy with intradermal allergy testing and desensitization. Canine atopic dermatitis is a lifelong condition. Preventing or minimizing the frequency of skin outbreaks improves the patient's quality of life. Outbreaks can be decreased by identifying and desensitizing the animal to offending environmental allergens, your veterinarian should do this. 2. Flea allergy dermatitis, hypersensitivity to flea bite. They often appear as small bumps and scabs seen on the lower back, above the tail, and on the inner thigh area. These dogs may scratch their sides, thighs, belly, lower back, neck, and ears. These dogs are often quite restless and almost constantly scratch, chew, and or lick their fur. Dogs with prolonged exposure to fleas may have thickened skin that may turn a dark gray color and hair loss may cover most of their body. The most common signs are hair loss and the presence of fleas along with marked itching. This type of dermatitis is diagnosed by the skin changes observed in ruling out other possible causes of skin problems. Flea allergy dermatitis does not usually appear before one year of age. Any breed of dog can be affected. To treat and prevent flea allergy dermatitis, proper flea treatment and prevention of flea infestations are imperative. 3. Food allergic dermatitis. Dogs who have food allergies often develop a hypersensitivity reaction to a protein or carbohydrate in the food or treats they eat. The most common sign in food allergic dogs is itching or scratching, which may be concentrated in one or several areas of the dog's body. The most common areas where dogs with food allergies lick, chew, or scratch are the ears, paws, under the chest or abdomen, and, less commonly, around the rear end. Food allergic dogs may also show gastrointestinal signs such as vomiting, diarrhea, a marked increase in stool produced, soft or loose stools, straining to defecate, gas, and possible weight loss. These signs are usually noticeable throughout the year, unless the food or treatment causing the problem is not consistently fed. It is a pleasure to inform you and help you, if you have not subscribed to the channel you should do it now, take care of yourself and your furry friend, a hug and until the next video.